for the next uh, tier. We gotta collect the chapters of the book of Mormo. Momor, me, mamo. Chapter is in Eastern Thailand, right? Right, right. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Do, do, do. Let's see what can be done in the next 30 minutes or so. Oh. Smirking Void Map. If you seek the definitive work on Mormo, then seek no further. I have penned an in-depth analysis of the most cunning ritual. Method contrived by the ma uh, mages of Eld to annihilate the soul of this especially potent void sense. When it comes to draining such a creature of its etheric energies, one must. Ah, uh, but I have, not, uh, I have not the time to stand here explaining the intricacies of shaping arcane pottery. Here, take my chapter and read it at your leisure. Okay. All right. So. Need I speak to? truly get there from here. Interesting. Interesting thought. I'm choosing. Right, so oops. No. So that's the day at 7 p.m. Right, right, right. Uh, well, where's the thing at? Is there <laughs> could I actually look at it? Uh, don't tell me. 
Where do I find the rest? <laughs> right, so maybe all right, so oh, okay, so I'm just looking at void mats. That are within the area. to learn of Mormo? Right this instant. But well, we've barely... How did you... Well, I suppose I could spare a copy of my writings. I've already prepared several extra sets to, uh, to share with potential publishers. I can well understand your curiosity. Mormo is truly fascinating, even among the oddities of the Void Send. She is far too powerful to make use of the tiny holes that open between our realities, and thus must send across only her spirit to possess the corpse or some other suitable host. You'll find it all explained there in the second chapter. Sweet. All right, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you are, twitching void map. Can to go here? Got hops for days sometimes. Other times, not so much. Oh, excuse, me. excuse me. Almost like jumped completely over that. Can I see your face? Are you wearing one of those masks too? You. You're interested in reading our Book of Mormo? Of course. Of course. It would be a pleasure to share our findings with a fellow student of the Void Sins. Here is the first chapter, my own humble contribution to our research. It tells the tale of how we became aware of this creature's existence, and delves into the nature of the urn that imprisoned her fell power. Yay! Go to those things to teleport. <sighs> Good, eh? Hey. I think I have a mighty need for more coffee soon. Forgetting about the, uh, the shards. You see how it just melted right through those doors like nothing? 
has a wizard. Do you have the three chapters of the Book of Morbo? The histories unearthed in the ruins of Sildi depict the suffering wrought by a singularly powerful void sense, the cunning and terrible seductress known as Morbo. With genius born of desperation, the mages of the now fallen city fashioned an urn that would drain and imprison the etheric vi uh, vitality of any creature that laid a hand or claw upon it. Mormo, believing she was receiving a gift of appeasement from the beleaguered citizens, found her very essence drawn forth and trapped within an ensorcelled pot. Over the course of several centuries, the capture of the etheric energy was intended to weaken and dissipate allowing any surviving descendants to safely shatter the urn and thus destroy Mormo's enervated spirit. The pod's lid was never to be opened again. To do so would, in uh, would release the ravenous void scent, freeing your soul to enslave the nearest mortal vessel. As possession of this nature is irreversible, the only mercy afforded such a host should be a swift and decisive end demise. Hmm. 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 This explains Mormo's fixation on Thaumaturge's side. Kokobusi's body provided little arcane sustenance for the weakened Voitsen, forcing her to prey upon richer sources of aether to restore her hideous power. This morsel of information may prove vital. In fact, it may be the only glimmer of hope our poor sibling has. Pray hand this work over to Kokobioko. I shall be along momentarily. much story but that's how they get you they draw you with the story and then like, when the actual combat starts that's when you get punched in the gut and then like kicked in the face repeatedly because it's like insanely hard it's like yeah you should be level 25 to do this but then scale the monster up like a lot so it's actually really challenging and it kind of sucks because you don't get to say in it or whatever you can't choose but you know i guess that's okay because you don't want games to be too easy it makes you know, the more challenging it is the more triumphant you feel the better you feel when you actually do complete your task or whatever this is a work devoted to studying that nasty void scent i should hope it provides some hint of salvation Uh, Kokubuki, these passages hold not but misery and, and misery and despair. It seems we have little choice but to employ our traditional approach. Though fraught with danger, there is one solution that promises an alternative to killing Kokubuki. If we fail, however, it will likely mean death for us all. Who is the mad mage that poses as our eldest brother? What of avoiding the threats? Of eliminating the risk. Is that not how we Thaumaturges do battle? With each passing moment, Mormo draws ever closer to her full strength. It pains me to even suggest it, but we should strike now, Kokubuki, while the Void Sen is yet, fe uh, yet feeble. I share that self same sentiment. Sorrowful though it may be, we must lay our enslaved sibling. And soon. Listen, brothers, for my solution is thus. In return for releasing Kokubusi from Mormo's thrall, I will offer the Void Scent the chance to glut herself on my mana. You cannot! That succubus will drain you to a lifeless husk, and such a feast will awaken all her terrible magics. The will of my power is vast. I wager Mormo's thirst will be slaked before my spirit fully runs dry. And the newly enlivened Void Scent? She will then face the combined wrath of Gafiela and four guild masters of Thaumaturgy. How can we hope to prevail against this paragon of preternatural potency? We have always avoided adversaries against whom we held no advantage. The fault lies with me. Ever have I encouraged such avoidance and taught only the wisdom of certain victory. It is time we learned, to, uh, learned the courage to fight battles of unsure outcome. <laughs> 